Hi, my friends. We are in Dillsboro, North Carolina. And it's a railroad, small little railroad town is what it looks like. So we're going to walk around and check it out. The reason I know that because the name of this bed and breakfast right here. So let's go. And I am getting a Petticoat Junction vibe right here. This is the uh, Ben Breakfast Whistle Stop Inn right there. <laughs> There's no water tower uh, for the steamer going through town, but yeah, I just get that get that Petticoat Junction vibe big time. But this is uh, Dillsboro right here. Walk around, check this small, quaint little town out. Well, I'm wondering if it's missing a statue here, but this is a memory of Brownie. From 1975 to 1993, he had a good life. He was a Dillsboro town dog and best friend. I'm wondering if his statue was right there at one time. So, but this is a little park right here, dedicated to Brownie. So, if you do have an electric car, you have a charging station here too. So, it looks like this is where the old train depot used to be, right here, where you would uh, catch your train maybe and load it up. But yeah, and over here is the R, R Tavern in Dillsboro. Rivers and Rails is what it's called. And while you're waiting for your table, you can uh, take a bath also. I wouldn't recommend it though. You know, you might get in trouble. Um, but uh, check this out. I love the railroad track going through town. It's pretty cool. And they got a brewery over there. Innovations Brewing Company is right over there. But yeah, it's so cool. Now this goes right through town. Check out that pink uh, pickup truck right there. So this is the back side here off the main road over here. It's called Front Street. And you got maps and everything over here. Kind of show you around what's going on, events, different activities, your brochures right there. And then uh, this looks like a, yeah, a little church there. And they have some quilting going on in there too. Yeah it's, yeah, it's a little quilting place. I can see them in there doing the quilts. Oh, check out the old sign out. Drink knee high. That is so cool. I love these old signs. I'm going to walk down here and see what we got. A little coffee shop there. Very nice. Horse's Feather. And check out the inside of here. Yeah, you got a coffee bar here. Check out the old stools there. You got a little boutique over here too. So you can go through and find something to bring home. Yeah, very nice boutique. So cool. You got upstairs too. Check that out. But yeah. Horses Feather. Now that was a cool coffee shop, Horses Feathers. And uh, yeah, there's some really cool places along here. And right next to Horses Feathers, you got this little cut through to the other side. Love that little outside eating over here. Enjoy your coffee, but it goes all the way through. We'll go around. And then you got the Boots Steakhouse right here. Uh, walk up here, check it out. Oh yeah. Wow, it's like a little Western town. <laughs> That's so cool. Got a big fireplace there too, outside lighting. Come out here and eat. This is so awesome what they've done here. Yeah, it looks like a little western town. Got the big boot up there too. That's part of the uh, fireplace. So, yeah, it's a part of the chimney right there. Is that big boot. Wow, that's pretty cool. And I love this house right next door. And I had to get a shot of this. It's like a stump. <laughs> it grew through the, uh, through the wood there. No, but it's pretty neat though, what they did. Yeah, it looks like it's a Western Carolina Properties. This building is for sale. Can you imagine what you do a bed and breakfast out of this place? That'd be awesome. But yeah, it's for sale. <laughs> I love that front porch. Sit out here in your rocking chair. And enjoy the mountains. And then you get Forger's Canteen over there. A lot of quaint little shops over here. This is the uh, what is that? Flags in the way there. Tunnel Fountain Crafts, right here. Very nice. And this is the Lazy Bear right here. Go on and check it out. We got coffee, ice cream, souvenirs, gifts, and the uh, fudge too. Yeah. Let's go inside and take a quick peek. So here's your little ice cream area here. You get the prices. Right there, you got candies all along here too. And all kinds of gifts. A little dish towels there, really nice. And you got fudge, look at that fudge. 
and check out all the bear statues. And look here, black bear items, 20% off. Yes, their shop is really nice. Got jewelry too, t-shirts, all kinds of handbags and footwear. There's a little back area back here. There's your official Dillsboro Long Sleeve t-shirt. And they got a nice little shop back here too. Some toys for the kids, little sundresses, and then you have your preserves and honeys, sauces on here. They got cookies there too. But look at this. Wow. All different types of flavors. You got more bear. You got coffee too. And look at all the bear statues. Cool store. Little preserves too. Farmer's Market right here in Lazy Bear. And Forager's Canteen has a nice area to sit down. You got public restrooms over there too, which is helpful. Um, but yeah, look at all these stores here. You got a barber shop right here too. That's pretty cool. Head down this way. Yeah, look at all this. The chocolate factories over there. I'll have to see that. I just love the stone, the old steeples, and everything. And here's the corn crib. Established in 1983. Very nice. I'm not going to go in every shop, of course. You know, you need to come down and experience this yourself. I just want to kind of show you around town out here. Let's see what this garden is here. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's a little, like a train depot. I'm going to have to walk up in there. Oh, there's monkey toes right there. Yeah, I'm going to go down here, and then we'll come back and walk down through there. But uh, I want to see all this stuff. Maybe a train will come through. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, look at that. That one says closed. It says quirky birds. Oh, well, they might be open. No, it looks like maybe they're not serving right now. But it's called Quirky Birds Treehouse Bistro. So yeah, you do have a lot of restaurants here. I'll head down here. It's got a residence right there. Oh, it's a salon. Yeah, get your hair done right there. That old house. Head down here and look real quick. And as you're walking around town too, I know it's another one of those little quilting patterns kind of scattered about. But this is cool here, Dogwood Crafters. Wow, that's pretty neat. A little quaint log cabin right there into a shop get your community board right here kind of tells you where everything's at too oh yeah christmas shop nancy tut's christmas shop um might need to check that out and across the street right over there is the carolina southern peddler nice a little decoration here more like easter and springtime yeah head down this way but i love this dogwood crafters place the log cabin it's all the way down very neat. I have to hopefully, at least you might go in there and get a shot of that. But I want to show you this right over here. I don't, hopefully, it's not alive. No, it's not. But that horse nest is huge. So I want to show you the inside here. Look at this. Such a cool store. Oh, here's a little Christmas area here. With all these ornaments. The ladies up front I was talking to them. They're super nice. She was doing some knitting up there. But this is a little Christmas room right here. Christmas and Halloween could be all year long, both of them at the same time. <laughs> it's like a little baby area here for infants. Very nice. I'm kind of doing a quick walk around for you. So you got jellies, preserves here in this room. You know, all kinds of magnets. This is a pretty big store too. They got kinds of quilts you can get also. They're handmade. They got a little Halloween section here. I like that. That's pretty cool right there. Yeah, a little Halloween section. That's nice. I love the oven mitts right there, too. Very nice. Might have to find something for Connie. Bring home to her. You never know what you might find. This is great. I mean, this is a big store. It's good size. All kinds of variety of items you can pick up. Wow, look at this. Even in here. This is huge. All this pottery in here too. It's beautiful. You're bound to find something in here. Yeah, I love the pottery. It's really nice. It's great. And I'll be sure to have all their information in the description too. So I'll cut through here. Wow. 
There's a leaf man right there. There he is. That's cool. Little gnome there with his lantern and more ornaments and decorations. Back here. Wow. Didn't realize, didn't realize this was so huge. And I like that wine bottle holder right there, the horseshoes. Yeah, I couldn't believe how big this place is. They got a lot of great gift ideas. So, so you know, be sure to check out Dogwood Crafters. And it looks like they have a little Greek place here. Costa's Express Restaurant. Nice to have a different choices of food. And look at the outside seating area too. Wow, that's really nice. Then across the street, got the Jarrett House. Getting completely restored, it looks like. So hopefully I'll be up soon, up and running. Been there since 1884. I'm getting a facelift. Yeah, it's great that they're doing that. Yeah, bringing it back to life. And that place is closed. That's the Christmas shop, it's closed. Dang it. That would've been fun to go in there and check it out. Looks like Santa's house. There's a better shot of Costa's right there, Express. Yarrows, salads, pastas, shrimp, chicken, ribs, burgers, and fish. I love those stone buildings like that. With a tin roof and every, everything, so that'll withstand some, some high winds up here, that's for sure. So this is Church Street right here, where we saw that little walkthrough. Yeah, we're going to go down here, down Church Street, and uh, i got to use the restroom. Yeah, this is really nice right here. This is the Old Dillsboro Methodist Church, and there's the bell right here. 1899 to 1974. And this beautiful stone church is Jarrett Memorial Baptist Church. Love that stained glass too. That's beautiful right there. But yeah, I love these old mountain churches. And here is the Dillsboro Chocolate Factory. Established in 1998. Whole bean coffee fudge, handcrafted chocolates, jelly beans, and jerky. Cool. Now here's that little walk area I was telling you about. I have to go in there. It's called the Cannons Corners. It's got shops here too, so more shops. Very nice. Not sure if they're open or not. Got a little seating area here. Hey Kiki. Hey Kiki. Town kitties. But uh here we go. The artsy olive right here. Some of these are closed, yeah. It looks like they're all closed back in here, but it is a nice little area do some shopping it is a Monday so the, some of these probably don't open until like Friday or Saturday and there's the uh, corn crib I think we passed that earlier but yeah this is really really nice so my neighbor told me that the Haywood smokehouse has some awesome barbecue and uh, I already ate <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm full right now but yeah next time I come up here I'll be sure to check out the Haywood Smokehouse. It doesn't, I don't, it doesn't look like they're open just yet. But uh, I wanted to check out this gas pump right here. Check that out. Old Texaco gas pump. Very nice. But yeah, this is the Haywood Smokehouse. I love it. I love the theming. It's like an old western uh, saloon look to it out here. It's like they're what they're doing right now is they're cleaning off the roof with the uh, high pressure wash right now. An old train right there too. It's appropriate. Now, I don't know what this is. The sign's not there anymore. But yeah, this is the other side of all those shops. Now that's pretty cool. The old shoe shine chair there. Very nice. And here's your public restrooms. I think I showed that to you earlier, but it's convenient that they, these are here. You do have to cross the uh, the railroad tracks but yeah hopefully if you gotta go to the bathroom and a train goes by better hope it's not a long train and i had a good shot of this right here the river going through town this is really nice too and a little bridge crossing over there i'm not sure what that is maybe that's where they do like parties and stuff maybe check the gazebo over there too but they're redoing the uh the decking there that little area here to sit down and enjoy lunch Get some takeout. Oh yeah, here's the river. Is that a river? Would you call it a river, or would you call it a babbling brook, or is it kind of in between? Creek maybe. Uh, yeah, 
I saw a little river. I love it. I want you to do some fly fishing there. That'd be kind of neat. I love Dillsboro. This is great. All these little quaint shops all along here. Very nice. And it's a small town, but well worth the visit. And I wanted to thank you guys for joining me on this little visit here in Dillsboro, North Carolina. Great little small town. I was wishing that that Christmas store was open because I, I love Christmas all year round. And a uh, nice little restaurant and uh, just a place to stop by for a visit. Stop at that chocolate factory too and get some chocolate and fudge and uh, all kinds of goodies. All right, guys, stay tuned for more coming up. Take care. Bye-bye.